Hello everyone. Welcome to Let's Play Four Four Fair Turn Well My Bout Gation Investy Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh in the last part. I need to make sure I'm recording because I'm always mm -hmm. scared that I screwed that up. Uh, in the last part, we did this. Um, mm -hmm. We also spoke to our surfer dude, uh, Matt. Yes. Um, I don't know why... I think why... it was two parts ago, but yeah. Well, either. Uh, but, mm, I, no, we spoke to him briefly. It was, like, really, really brief. Oh. Uh, so, um, we right. spoke to uh, Old Bag, and, uh, yeah, we are uh, trying to figure out what's going on. So, we ended off right before going into... Either On Guard or Corda's Hotel. Uh, please go to On Guard first, because then I can go and order on the transcript. Okay. I was going to ask you to tell me which one Gumshoe pops in, but you know. It's the other one. Of course. Merge 21, gate what the hotel, On Guard hotel room. Let me just swap our channel over to the correct uh, Yeah, that's for the best. I keep for. I keep forgetting to do that before we start, but whatever, it's fine now. All right, here we go. Who's in here? Please don't be old bag. Okay, thank you. Ah, uh, well, you see. Why is there bees everywhere? I, I can't see all the bees. <laughs> what? I don't see any bees. I see a whole bunch of them. It's the furniture everywhere. Uh, like, I'm actually freaking out how many of them I'm seeing. Yeah, I guess. Oh, God. Um, where are we? We're in Mr. On Guard's dressing room. This is our client's room. Who is this? May it's I me. help you? Someone oh, no, but this is mine. Oh, hey, okay. May I help you something? I think I know who this is, but just being safe. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, we're... Uh, you're Mr. Stonegard's lawyer, correct? I gathered as much. Is this her manager? I switched for lawyers on my end, but to no avail. Um, how did you know I'm his lawyer? Probably because he called you from jail. <laughs> you were just saying that he's your client. Oh, well, okay. Oh, that's it. In a situation like this, the only person who would use such a word would be his lawyer. Wow! Maybe you should be a lawyer. <laughs> it's a simple deduction, really. I mean, you're basically halfway there already, so... Yeah, honestly. Here's, hey, check out my attorney's badge. Cheers <laughs> now. Bye-bye! <laughs> the trial is tomorrow. Mr. Stonegard's situation is looking rather grim. I need to check this. Okay, I, I just need to check real quick if they did the thing where they put her in the court record before anything was revealed. It's more of a first game thing, but that does happen occasionally. I think it so happened in this game once. I mean, it happened in Ace Attorney Chronicles. Like, it, they still do it. <laughs> it's not super common, but it happens. So you came here. One stop at you. You're mad dash to find clues to build his case, correct? Uh, but he wasn't here, right? Or was he, uh, was he in his own room? I mean, I guess he did say. I like, think he, he did. He I think he did say he was in his room. Okay. Uh, well, you're not totally right, but you're not totally off either. Yeah, it's like fifty-fifty, like we said. It's really not the time to be showing off, Mister Nick. It's always time to be showing off. Uh, I'm Adrian Andrews. Okay, is her thing in the record now? Adrian she has Andrews. a name. No. Nope. Interesting name, Adrian Andrews, also known as AA, which shortens down to Ace Attorney. I'm sure that's a coincidence. <laughs> this series is definitely not. I hate to waste time, so let's get down to business. Uh, uh, Alright, do you know who the killer is? She may be of small stature, but appearances can be deceiving. What, is she, like, really Is she tiny? short? She doesn't look short. Isn't Phoenix short? <laughs> is it, like, it's a downside of the sprites. I can't tell. Yeah. It's not... Unsur in unsurpr or surprising. Wow, we still don't have it. I was going to say, surprisingly, I think I mentioned this in, in earlier in this game, we don't have every little detail on the profiles, like their blood type, their height... All that sort of stuff, because you know, Japan is very p finicky. With you know, Japan that. obsesses over blood type for some reason. I will never understand. Exactly. There's some samurai-looking clothes on the sofa here. Um, I think that jacket thing is called a happy. But how would you know? She lived in a very Jap Japan-style. Oh, true. Be true. That weird. 
Yeah, true. In in Los Angeles. <laughs> not not two hours away from Los Angeles. Nah, close enough. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm sure something like that would make a great souvenir. My, that would be absolutely <laughs> right outside of LA, so true. it's not that unheard of. There's a giant bone sitting on the plate. I I don't really like meat. I, yes, we're aware of that. Ellipses question mark? There's something weird about this plate. I just wish I could put my finger on what it is. Well, clearly it's they're using yellow forks. That is a very bizarre thing to use. There's a lot of yellow in this room. <laughs> Looks like dishes left over from dinner. Dinner for two at that. No, we are not doing this again. We are not having another turn by Samurai. Oh, Jesus. Please, no. I'm sure they're Mr. On Guard and Miss Andrew's plates. We don't even know who Miss Andrew is yet. We like, don't we don't know her what affiliation. Is she not here? Yeah. Like, that's what On Guard said, that she was out and busy the whole day. If this was her manager, right? Or his manager. Well, sorry. yeah. Right. Which, he, that's what it seems words. like. Yeah. Looks like they had T-Bone Steaks. What's with the Global Studios and T-Bone Steaks? Uh, I, I know, right? <laughs> it's like all they all they want is just T-Bone Steaks. Wow, I can't investigate the mirror? Interesting. I can't investigate this giant pole that looks like a weapon? I want to investigate <laughs> both of those things, especially the mirror, though. I just want to hear Phoenix obsess over his appearance in the mirror. Honestly. It's probably Mr. On Guard's suitcase. For someone who only... Uh, who is only going to be here for the award show. This is a lot of stuff. Looks like he has about three days worth of clothes in here. Stars really are from different from us, are they? I, I don't know why I was going to read that as. Stars really are us or something. Yes. It's like something just off. Stars really are us. <laughs> That's the bedroom over there. That's a bed? Oh god. Does she sleep in like, like on a futon or something? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if she just slept in a hammock. Oh, no. Wow, they have really big beds here. Phoenix, you're not gonna question that? Like, what? Not even a little bit? Like, even just internally? I know, right? Here, attorney's badge. Um, I'd like to ask you about this. I've never seen an attorney's badge before in my life. I told you, I hate trifling matters. It's always time to show me things that have no relevance to me. Wow. We're his lawyers. <laughs> it's relevant. True. This is the first time I've been shut down this badly. Uh, rise from the ashes. Hello? Alright, what can I show her? Okay, uh, the press conference ticket, and then there's a few profiles. Okay. Okay, th okay. so clearly, because I didn't talk to her first, she's more than likely the manager, because that's what everything is inferring at this point. So... You're the one taking care of the arrangements for this press conference, right? Yes, that's right. But Mr. On Guard said he didn't know about it. Ellipses. Why does she have a card? It was just lying around. I thought it looked pretty. Is that what he said? Huh? Actually, I didn't know all the details either. Mr. Kusun, the publicity department, look at my pretty shell card. I like to just help out and do what I was asked. Oh, I, I see. Alright, she's the murderer. I that wonder be, about that. No, there's not a lot of candidates here. It's either her on guard actually did it, or... Or to kill her? Yeah, that, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> like, I mean, it, maybe it's a suicide? I mean, there's it could be. four people. It could be, you don't know. I wouldn't take her to be the type of person to do something without knowing the details. Alright, then I just move on to profile, so... Yep, so, uh, Will Powers, Juan Carita, Matt on guard, and... Agent Andrews, which you don't have, for some reason. Okay. Yeah, that's his weird. Maybe I have to talk to her first. <laughs> yeah, probably. But that's Mr. Will Powers. He's in to contact with the Global Studios. He's a very nice man. None of the good heart. It's true. Well, that's all he is and never will be. Oof. I mean, that's, that's true. <laughs> Eric, what a horrible thing to say. You know, you could totally tell, like, contrasting cases, because in the last case, Phoenix was an ass. Now he's being, like, himself again. 
It's weird, right? Yeah, it's like Whiplash. Sai doesn't care about genuinely nice people, Mr. Wright. You, huh? you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. For a second, her face twisted in pain. Oh, this me, Which sorry. Is... I don't know why I thought that was you. I wonder if something happened to Miss Andrews. I guess I'm so used to Maya popping up, so... Yeah, no, Maya's gone. <laughs> She's gone forever. Did you know the victim, Mr. Corita? Yes, I knew him. Oh, this is just my place, after all. Yeah, true. Did you know about his rivalry with the Nickel Samurai? Honestly, they really killed him when we came to that. Yeah, it sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, it pretty much lines up with what everyone has said. Time and time again, those two competed with each other over the most trivial things. Yeah, sounds about right. But the only one that hasn't made it sound like that's what it was, was Old Bag. Yeah, exactly. It's Old Bag. Do you really believe what she says? Ellipses. Well, Either one of them was so stubborn, maybe no one would have needed to die. Mm, okay, um, suspicion level on you just went up considerably. Exactly. <gasps> Exclamation mark. Ellipses. I've got a hunch this woman knows more than she's letting on. Give me the Cyclox! <laughs> no. She must know why Juan Corita was killed! Please don't give us Cyclox on her. We already have two characters that have Cyclox. I know, right? One of them's old bag. I asked to become the Song God's manager. It's a pleasure to manage with this nice disposition. Hmm. Mr. Ongar does seem like a rather weak-willed man, always doing as he's told. Which is funny, because he told us not to do that exact thing. <laughs> exactly. Uh, he's always saying, my manager, right, Mr. Nick? Ellipses. Alright, I'll talk to you. Night of the murder. I assume the first thing you need to know is what everyone is doing that night, correct? Yes, we want your alibi. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, that is correct. No, I'll tell you. Oh, thank you for being straightforward. Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. On Guard. Did On Guard much anything about dinner? He made it sound like she was busy the entire day. Yeah, so... No? In this very room, I might add. Dinner? What'd you eat? I told you, I hate to waste time with details. It's T-Bone Steak! We already know it's T-Bone Steak! Come on! Yeah, exactly. If you took a look at the table yourself, you don't need to ask me. We yeah, did no that! <laughs> <laughs> did you get hit with the fire extinguisher? <laughs> Probably. I bet she's a lot of fun at parties. Oh, extremely. When the award show was starting, I had to put Viola Hollow. No, you didn't. We weren't Viola Hollow when you weren't there. Yeah, true. And after the show ended, you came back to this room? No. There's some small errands to run. I hope it's preparations in the lobby. Oh. Preparations for the post-ceremony show, I guess. It was time for the post-ceremony show. I came back to call for Mr. On Guard. I'm glad. I went to visit Mr. Kirita. And that's when you found his body, isn't it? Ellipses. You really held strong through everything. Yeah, she does seem to be mentally tough as nails. Oh, she's gonna break down really easily. It's gonna happen. Relation to on guard. Um, so about you and. Stop right there. Don't say sleep, but as I'm on guard, now you're ready to are you? <laughs> Sorry. I have no idea how to choose you as a lawyer. Uh. The I'm killer. not sure either. <laughs> Why did she have to go on and say something like that? Then Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. I'll give you a shoulder rub to relieve your stress later, alright? You're gonna need the biggest stepladder of your life. I didn't give you my name earlier. I'm not that I'm a Stone God's manager. Yeah, I know! I mean, we kind of figured that out. <laughs> His manager. Hey, Wait. does that mean that we have your profile now? Yeah, good question. Yes! Hey, there it is! Adrian Andrews, age 23, on guard manager, an intelligent woman who seems to have it all together. Speaking of managers, did the victim, Mr. Corita, have one? No, he didn't. 
did not. Maybe that's why he died. He didn't have a manager. He didn't. At the very least, it explained why uh, Jamin Ninja always was doing worse. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Google Studios is a very different policy from the Bud Light Studios, isn't that? Bud Light Studios does not assign individual managers to their stars. I see. No, actually, come to think, is that a recent thing? Because if not, then where was Will Powers as manager? Good point, yeah. So if he was a star on their thing, like, he should have had one. Mystery is very ruthless and unforgiving. Yeah, but they also didn't, like, care about him at all. I mean, they still wanted him around. True. Actually, you're like, quite ruthless and unforgiving yourself to your poor partner. Aww. Definitely gonna, like, hurt a place like this, honestly. We don't... Oh, you're not wrong! I mean, she does have a point, yeah. Oh, oh okay, apparently Pearl disagrees. <laughs> you're wrong! I I'm doing this to help Miss Ikmaya! Pearls, calm down and hang in there. I'll buy you a juice later, all right? Mm. All right, give you, give us your motive, motive for murder. I mean, on guard's motive for murder. Yes, but... that's obvious. Honestly, either one is fine. <laughs> I don't actually care who actually committed the murder. I just want to know why they did it. Because yeah, exactly. that's all the court cares about, apparently. Exactly. You know, you don't have to see their face, too. Trust me, I've gone down this road. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it was, like, like Toro Big Top's trial would have been done in, like, 20 minutes if that was a requirement. Exactly. Do you have any ideas? As to? As to why Mr. Karita was murdered. What do you ask me about such a thing? I'm just doing my job as a defense attorney. Interrogating you. What's a defense you. attorney? <laughs> So, do you have any ideas? Ah! <laughs> oh, that's a lot of locks. Oh, that's four. Another one with four. No, oh, jeez. Pull back at four, too. M M Miss Andrews? Sorry, if there's something more I have to add to this conversation. She's lying. Is it a cyclock, Mr. Nick? Let's say it loudly so she can hear us. <laughs> it's not like she would know what it means. <laughs> True. She'd be like, what the hell are they talking She probably actually would say, I don't care what they're talking about. Uh, yes, there's getting to be more and more of these lately. Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, I'll show her her own portrait. I hate talking about myself. Please just end the line right here. Don't don't elaborate further. Dang yeah, it. Please, uh, it certainly matters, that's why. Uh, so sorry. Take away that layer of sarcasm. She really does seem to hate herself. All Is right. that the impression you got? I guess so. Oh. To the hallway! Right, right. Can I show her the profile? You can try it, sure. Um, do you know anything? Nope. Nah, it seems... Yeah. I mean, some people should know, like... At the very least, like, on guard should know. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I've already read that, I think. I'm pretty sure I did in the last part. Or maybe I didn't, I don't know. Oh, well. Corita's hotel room. Where's the blood? When he went to hotel, Karita's hotel room. Oh, you see, it was too graphic for an eight-year-old child, so he just covered it all with bears. Ah, fair. Mr. Nick, where are we? We're in Mr. Juan Karita's room, Pearls. Mr. Corita? The victim, which makes this the crime scene, too. Which means we are tampering with evidence for one, and for two, we're ruining We're only tampering with evidence scene. if we move it. <laughs> True. Yeah, but we are contaminating the crime scene. That we are objectively doing. Oh, true. So, what happened? Kidnapper. Is God dug you again? Not yet. You probably won't until we win Mr. On Guard's acquittal. Um, you doing okay, pal? Hang in there. No. I just want Maya to be alright. I don't care if anybody else dies. Lipsies. We're out of the time left. I'm gonna help you smoke the can, pal. Well, I mean, Why so angry. I still don't get it. I don't know either, but he's gonna help us probably because we have like a kidnapper on our hands. Yeah. Can you do that even if we want to look around the crime scene? Uh, just this one special circumstances, right, pal? Yeah, just this one. Ah, uh, right. yes, just like old times. I'll even tell you everything I know. We gotta keep quiet. I'm sorry, I can't so 
It's my neck on the line here. <laughs> okay, that part's probably accurate. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's right. The guy who got his map of the hotel, pal. Ooh. Here you go, little missy. Is he in the park? Oh, okay. Oh, how nice. Wow, you're giving it to me? Thank you. <laughs> Wouldn't want you to get lost hotel too big for its own good. Sure. <laughs> Mr. Nick, I got a map. That's great, Pearls. Ellipses. Oh, but Mr. Nick, I can't read what it says. I mean, it probably doesn't say anything. <laughs> it's a good map added to the code record. Map of the Gatewater Hotel around the crime scene. Actually, I want to take a quick gander at it. Yes. And show it to him, of course. Yeah. Um, so we got Hotel Guide Map Partial. It's Corda on guard, the hall, lobby. Okay, that makes sense. So I'm going to say in this particular case, you should probably examine around before you present stuff to Gumshoe because there's a lot you're missing. <laughs> And I assume you get it here because it's the crime scene. Look, I just want to show him my attorney's badge. Okay, fine. That one's allowed. <laughs> what do you know about this? Um, so much I can tell you about this pal. No, there I don't is. Want to a badge. Look, pal, I don't have a lot of time. Show <laughs> some more damage. <laughs> wow. Roasting. Even some karma song here like this. All right, so we know von Karma's are. Uh, 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 I mean, of course she would be. The person we're against, but we know for sure. I gotta switch sides real fast. All right, I'll examine around. Actually, can I slide? Oh, I can slide. Okay. So, oh, there's blood. All right, ah. well, let's let's start with this side. Oh, I can't. Not, not the good. coffee maker. It's unfair. I don't care what's kind of big a show. I do care about the coffee maker. It's me you're talking about. But I care about bears. More. Bear. Wow, there are a lot of bears! Alarm clock ones, collector's editions, stuffed teddies, plastic models... It's pretty overwhelming. It, is there a kind of bear he doesn't have? Is I don't he, think he has any polar bears. Uh, yeah, true. And there's even a few in the trash can. Yeah, I get the feeling maybe the guy didn't really like bears. Poor teddies. That you want them all? Oh, yes. no. <laughs> Turned to bear Donnie's problems, crow. Why is he showing? Look, I know. Uh... <laughs> uh, look, I, I I like Mo more than like basically everyone in that case. But why are they bringing up that stupid case again? Look, if they want to bring up Big Top just so they can reference Mo, I am more than okay with it. <laughs> Ellipses. Sorry, Mo, but they're okay with it. I don't think I want to bear with the trauma the last case caused me. Yeah, you know what, Phoenix? I agree. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Uh, a lot of things. A lot of things are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, it's so messy in here. Pearls really likes things neat and tidy, I take it. There are a lot of electronic things in here that I've never seen before. Hey, Mr. Nick, tell me what they are, pretty please. Okay, that over there is a watch. You wear it on your wrist. Ellipses. I know what a watch is. <laughs> Oops, for a second there, I forgot who I was talking with. Pearls, not mine. <laughs> true, <laughs> true, yeah. true. Not wrong. Mean, mine would just try to steal it. Yeah, exactly. She like, ooh, what a nice watch and camera. He's a camera. Whoa, yeah, you see that? Mm -hmm. And she would like steal it. It's a suitcase. There's so many things in it, I bet it, it barely closes. There's his clothes, a dryer, an electro electric shaver, I guess electronic works too, a calculator. Do all stars pack too much stuff like Mr. Corda? Uh, well, on guard did. Probably. Ooh, I get to use a key on my keyboard for once to slide. <laughs> Looks like Mr. Corda had dinner last night. This bottle. It's tomato juice. Ew. We had a lot of food at the award show last night. Wonder if the stars had gone on stage only after only eating a meager meal like this. I'm gonna save this for last because I see clear blood. Yeah, no, that's definitely important. What is that robot bear? I just noticed that one. It's a cool bear. 
It's a beautiful oh, yeah. wine glass, and there's tomato juice in it. Ew, tomato juice, I don't really like it much. Agreed. I mean, I don't really know why you would drink tomato juice like just in a wine glass. Yeah, that's so weird. There's a bottle of it on the table over there, that's probably where it came from. But it doesn't seem... but doesn't it seem weird? What seems weird? I mean, everything else is scattered all over the floor. Ellipses. How did the eight-year-old notice this before you? True. The flower face is broken, and the makeup is strewn everywhere. Why is this glass the only thing that's all right? Okay. Wine glass eaten to the court record. Found next to the victim. Oh, how do we know that? It's filled with tomato juice. No signs of it being drank. I guess they assume you're gonna examine the whatever first. Probably. Oh, I can't examine the robo bed. bear. Come on, it's the coolest thing here. Honestly. So that's a bed, right? Again. What? Yep, it's big, but it's a bed. Ah, Mr. Nick, it's so soft. All right, well now we're just messing with the crime scene at this point. Yeah, now we're objectively just messing with the crime scene. <laughs> big beds must be a rarity for her. I assume that's the only thing about that. Yep. Um. All right. Then let me just make sure nothing else. Yeah, looks like we're good. All right. I, th I think it's only that. This is a guitar case, I guess. A little beat up, but still usable. That's strange. The guitar is not here. Maybe he forgot to bring mm -hmm. it to the show? But Mystic Maya, she said the bright red guitar was jamming in just saying item. Well, That's yeah, but true. that doesn't mean it's the one for Karina's signature item. True. Huh? The guitar case is wet, but it's only wet on the top of the lid. Yeah, there's no water inside the case. This is water, isn't it? Y yeah. Uh, yes! <laughs> you talk, uh oh, you record. there is some water, I guess. Found next thing. Yeah, there's some wild wood. I thought that was a blood stain. I mean, it I looks like too. blood. Is the Noctober stuff something you can examine? That seems like you should. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bottles of cosmetics are scattered all over the floor. Probably where Mr. Corda fought his assailant. What are these bits of classes from? Flower vase, maybe? There are flowers on the floor, but I don't know where they, what they are. You don't know much about flowers, do you, Mr. Nick? Nope. I don't Not know. Not a thing. Uh, I, think I don't know what any flowers are. Sunflower, dandelion, what are Tango. those? Alright. What can I show Mr. Gumshoe? Alright, so. Radio transceiver, guitar case, wine glass, crime photo, body profile, 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 yeah, we could use it to find out where the bad guy is. He's his radio waves, huh? Well, I got it. I'll go find a radio scanner and let me borrow a pile. Yay! Alright, what is the guitar next? case? Guitar case? Alright. What can you tell me about this guitar case? Oh, that. that. This is just what I heard, pal. That's the jam and <laughs> just looking for item. <laughs> yeah? The guitar case? No, not that. What do you take me as? I mean, the guitar inside, of course. Okay. But the guitar is missing. Yeah, we look for it too. It's not normal for a person to forget to bring the most famous item to reward show. I guess he's just gonna be the ninja. Yeah. It's starting to sound like that red guitar is related to this case after all. You said the wine glass, yeah, right? Wine glass. So about this wine glass. Oh, so you notice the pal. The little crime scene was the best of this glass is the only thing that was untouched. I'm surprised that Gumshoe noticed it. Yeah, seriously. You noticed that too, Detective Gumshoe? Man, I'm stupid. Oh, no, okay. And, uh, I actually missed one crime notice the first. Well, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, Pearl's noticed it before me too. Hey, wait a minute. So, 
Does that mean Miss Von Karma's here at the hotel? Uh oh no. Run. Yeah, she's around, man. You're gonna be in so much trouble, pal. Oh no. Especially if she catches you in here. Well, so you can... she's gonna come in any second now, right? Yeah, probably. Well, you can bet the ends and I see her, I'll be running uh, the 1,000 meter dash. Let's just say we're going to be uh, tampering with the crime scene by jumping out the window True. without bothering to open it. True. Uh, you still need to show the crime photo if you have it. Oh, oops. Oh, oh whatever. Uh, well, you you might not. It's crime photo's the kind of thing that Gumshi will show you anyway, so... Yeah. Maybe you get it from talking. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. For what? I really want to help you look for a pal. Mr. Detective. If anything happens, let me know, okay? I want to help, but I want to Alright. I'll just show her, show him the profiles, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. Pearl's next. Oh, hey, little Missy. This is good, okay? Okay. What, what is it? Don't ever pick up a whip, okay? Don't even think about it. <laughs> I know. Huh? This woman needs to be traumatized. <laughs> you want to find something you want one? Try to make do with a good slap to the face. Got that? Slap the person in the face. Dude, she's eight. He's feeling this child to assault people. Yeah, exactly. Because he's scared of whips. Promise me, okay? <laughs> to be fair, a whip would be assault too, so. <laughs> yeah. Personal experience tells me Gumshoe should be careful what he wishes for. True. Uh, next is Lot of Hair. Lot of Hair. Uh, if I had a choice, she would be number three of those people I don't want to see. <laughs> because I'm the number one spot. Don't go high and mighty on me here. You're only number two. You think you're totally in second place, pal, yes. Huh? Really? Then who's in first? This whole car is fucked up to you in this race. <laughs> uh, oh. This is really scary right now. This whole car, but you really don't. He's so scared of her that he is whispering now. Alright, who else? Uh, Mountain Guard. Okay, we're we the bygones, bygones, pal. Look, this guy's guilty. Books that so. Because that's all we can bet. <laughs> I'm so sorry. One dollar? Sure you're not talking about Pearl's allowance, buddy. <laughs> Ooh. I, I can't bet any more than that. My salary is. <laughs> Doesn't matter what we think. So I have to defend Mr. Own Garden Court or else. Mr. Nick. Right, uh, security lady and uh, Peter uh, Andrews. Surprisingly, not Von Karma. Oh, Von Karma's on her thing, okay. Although, I guess a lot of the hair was basically Von Karma. Yeah, sure. Well, I, I thought she was an alien from outer space. Yeah, probably because she's wearing that strange helmet. Yeah, even with her helmet off, I thought she was an alien pal! Yeah, agreed, you same. You worked with her in a case before. Uh, you know, I still agree, though. Ellipses. <laughs> yeah! That's probably best kept to yourself, you know what I mean. Well, uh, I can handle the French gun, it'll be fine. Uh, she's just a guard's manager, right? No matter what I do, I really stick a tongue at people like her. So just open my mouth and get all flustered. So she's just one of those women with the brain. Someone who gets things done, whatever that means. <laughs> Yeah, she does give that sort of impression, like she's got it all together. Come here, dear. You have to tell every kid doing the right kind of guy. <laughs> Probably while you're Peyton Robin. I told you all nerds start messing up. Feels sort of bad for him. And that's it, right? There's no Von Karma? Mm, yep. You know, except for the crime scene that you may or may not have. She has come to America to defeat me in court. It's awful. Alright, let's talk. Cause of death. Oh, that's me. So that's yours. Jeez. Do you know what the, was the cause of death? Well, tactically, the final autopsy report is now yet, but... I don't like the victim should tell you, pal. Oh, is this when we get the crime zone? 
speed up the fo uh, crime scene photo? It should. Yeah, here's a picture. Blunt force trauma. Oh, stab, okay. With the butter knife. Well, yeah, of course. It, it's not even where his heart would be, is it? No, it's the other side of his chest. But it would be. There's a knife in his chest. Not to mention it's not even that deep in. Yeah. And it looks like a butter knife to boost, so I wouldn't even stab anyone. Exactly. Yeah, pal, it's murder weapon. So he was stabbed to death. I'm looking at the fingerprints down the lab right now. There were fingerprints on the knife? Yep, of course there were. There's never too much evidence. Yeah, mad on guards. Looks like the person had a Mr. Guards prints, pal. Yeah, makes sense. That's bad, real bad. Grand photo added to the code record. Okay, so you can show him that. Yeah, photo of one. Which you probably should before you talk to him about the other subjects. Yeah, that's what I figured. Well, you look at this photo and you can't help it. What you want to say? I can't believe this is even murder! Agreed, it doesn't look like one. Stab yeah, it looks like something knife. happened. Yeah. Like there's stuff on the ground, but. Exactly. Stabbed with a knife after a struggle. Clue's sleeping in this photo somewhere. I know it. Alright, and then we'll talk to him about the reason for arrest. Yeah, for reason for arrest. Why was Mr. Ungard arrested? Oh, uh, because we had evidence on him. Yeah, no kidding. E evidence? Looks like the victim, Juan Carita, really put up a big fight. Yeah, really? he knocked over I mean, a I guess base. there's some stuff on the <laughs> But he conveniently left the tomato juice. Yeah. Yeah, one look at the crime scene, you can tell. There's signs of a struggle everywhere. Well, he had to the fight. His bun came off. Strong Guard said something about a bun. Something like, one of the Jammin' Ninja's bun got caught on his Hakama. Well, that's not all. What? There was a witness, pal. Of course there was a witness. Okay, who, who was it? Was it old bag, a lot of hair, Genu Genuinely. A witness? Who, who is it? Oh, the lady was so bad. Oh my god, of course. Please, anyone but her, that's what I'm saying. Well, the security has plenty of evidence to make a solid case, but they're gonna bring her in anyway. Not to mention there's something about where the, where the Vic was, it's a lot of the Vic. Like, I'm yeah. not supposed to be talking to the victim, that's just weird. Something that's a little off, as in... As in, that's me to figure out, pal! Uh, okay, that's not our job, but alright. Alright, let's try to figure it out, Mr. Nick. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, oh, what's that beeping noise, Mr. Nick? Hmm, I've heard this sound somewhere before. Oh, uh, it's this fuck horrible, pal! Now I'm gonna destroy crimes and jump out the window, bye! <laughs> huh? For some reason, I've never heard this sound, she pops out of nowhere and looks at me! Come to think of it, exactly what happened the last time. So I'm gonna go make some scares later, pal! <laughs> No! Uh oh. The flash you're being chat. It's a fierce right. What? Don't would it be too much to ask for you to be nice and to me for a change? I to steal information from the people who are detectives. No, you're supposed but to be working with me. You wouldn't have to if you told us what yeah. you found. You're supposed to be working with me. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> what's your disciple of you? Ow! I don't think the detectives of this country could be this beautiful. <laughs> Detective, come here a second. Oh my no. lord. Oh, jeez. Well, uh, we, uh, we have a second murder to solve, but yeah. we already know we did it. I'm surprised she doesn't do this to me. We beat her in two cases. Including one that was exceptionally stupid. Yeah. 
<laughs> think you're doing it. You have had enough to face your punishment. He was so scared, he just froze up on the spot. It's the Phoenix Phoenix. Except your punishment. You have said you're supposed to keep your record. Okay. I'm gonna forget that. This time, victory is mine. Okay, it won't stop your record from being soiled. Yeah, your record's already soiled. Yeah, it won't fix anything. Ellipses. I, mean, I guess at the very least it'll look a little bit better because at least you'll have one of case. Yeah. Victory is yours? Is that all this means to you? Yes, yes it is. The what? Ellipses. Ellipses. Hmph. Come, Scruffy, the investigation briefing is about to begin. Y yes, sir! <laughs> this isn't over yet. I spend my family's honor. You've already lost, you have no family honor. <laughs> yeah, Manfred's either dead or at least on death's row, and uh, I guess if you count Edgeworth, I mean, I don't know, he's somewhere, but yeah. I don't think he cares that much. What do you mean he's dead, clearly? That's what everyone said. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Ow! What did she throw at me now? What's this? Well, this means I gotta get back to the precinct now, pal. Yeah, he's he's gonna be the one in the precinct. <laughs> you ever need me come down to Criminal Affairs Department, all right? Okay. If you can't turn it on, so come and see you. No promises. I wonder if there's anything new now. Probably not. I don't think Gumshoe ever jumped in for any of these. Um, no, I guess not. Yeah. Oh wait, no. There's one more thing. Uh. There's paper on a desk you can examine, apparently. Paper on a desk? It doesn't specify if it's on the left or right oh, side. Oh, oh, she oh, yeah. threw this. Yeah, she threw this. Yeah. Mr. Nick wants this piece of paper. I'm glad I caught that because that, uh, that looks yeah. important. It's called an autograph. An autograph? Paper's got Miss Corita's name written on it. So it's his autograph. I can't read it at all. I can't honest? either. I've never seen writing that looks like this. I mean, I can't either. I mean, it looks like the bottom part is actual writing. To my dearest, darkest... Dearest Wendy, I think it's Woody? Nice. <laughs> dearest Wendy, sure. Yeah, one of the... something like that. Ah, it's a special way of writing called cursive. Look here. See how it says, to my dearest oh, Wendy. Ah, oh, yeah, we were able to actually read it. Nice. In the normal letters here. It is sloppy, unreadable writing. It's crazy and cruel to give this to someone. I mean, I don't disagree. True. Hold on. Ellipses question mark. Wendy. I've heard that name somewhere before. <gasps> don't. 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 You say carry this autograph added to the Code Dragon. Uh oh, okay. Can I look at the, the thing now? Is there anything new? No, of course. Ah, <sighs> to the hallway. Can I show her anything new? Um, how long has it been going on for? That was actually, two weeks for one. It has been going on for 43 minutes, actually, so this is probably a good stop. Yeah, the next room is kind of busy. Is there anything I can show at least her that's new? No. Okay, alright. Well, I guess Or at least they didn't update it on the transcripts. It's probably nothing, then. They've been pretty good with that. So I guess in that case, um, thank you all for watching. In the next part, we'll, I guess, go down to the de de detective center or whatever. I, I don't really know. Yes. Or talk to... Actually, we might be able to talk to uh, Old Bag. She has two locks. Maybe we can get something out of her. I'll have to test it out, so we'll see. Uh, but thank you all for watching. Uh, chicken tenders are amazing. I'll toast, toast, toast! Bye-bye!